You guys are not ready for this. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Enchanted Brat and it's so lovely to be here with you today. Today I am so excited to be shooting this video for you guys because I have been literally wanting to make this video for like the last three weeks or so. I've literally just been sitting on a whole bunch of thrifts. So the thrifts that I'm going to show you today is accumulated from the last month or so. So yes, I've been shopping week one, two, three, four, just a couple of days ago. So like all the thrifts compiled into one video. I don't know how long this video is about to be, but I'm gonna make it as short as possible and I have to stop rambling, otherwise it's gonna be too long, so let's get started. <laughs> Check. The first thing, I'm not going in any particular order, I just have everything on the bed, so like, you know, you're gonna see a shoe, and then a roll, and then a purse, and it's just gonna be all over the place, okay? So anyway, the first thing that I have here is a cute bra. This is a half bra, as you can see. It's not meant to cover your entire boob, but I thought this was super cute. I love the laciness, and I love that price. $2.99, like, yes, or $2.49, it's even better. Next thing that I got is this absolutely adorable dress. Look how cute this is! Oh, uh, you're gonna be hearing me say that the entire time, but I just thought this was so beautiful. Like, look at those floral, Look at that floral pattern. Like that is so cute. And look at the ruffles at the bottom. Oh my goodness. I was so afraid this was gonna be too short, but it looks fantastic on. So I'm really excited about it. I think I only spent around like $6 for this. And the brand is Lulu's. And then one thing I noticed is I don't have that many cover-ups. So when I saw this one, I was like perfect because when I went down to Tampa for my birthday, I needed something just like this to go over top of my really formal dress. And I finally found it, so I wasn't gonna leave it behind then. And it just kind of gives me like 1920s, like Gatsby vibe. I just moved to the area so I went extremely overboard on the thrifting if I'm being honest and like they don't have their fitting rooms open either so I have to like buy things take it home and then like it's just like it's a mess okay I ended up getting this super cute skirt in the camera I think it's pretty true to color in the camera to be honest it's kind of like this taupey brown gray pink color and it's like a sport so it has like shorts underneath but I just love like how flowy and frilly this is I remember when I found this like I was literally screaming on the inside I went straight to this dress when I walked in the Google that day I was just like oh my god this is so cute I love the lace and detail that's kind of going through the dress it's like little strips of lace and then I love the strings in the front this is just so cute it might be meant to be a swim cover but honestly I'm probably gonna wear it as a dress and probably wear like a slip underneath it I just think it's so adorable the next thing that I got is this really cute bra I got this one at Savers sometimes Savers can be on the pricier side this was $9.99 but I went on a half off day which is Monday so I ended up only spending five dollars for it but I think it's just so adorable. I love anything that's pink and cheetah combined. It's like my world. I'm just good at what I do. Like, look at these shoes. Like, oh my goodness. These are, this was like another thing where I like walked into the store and I saw this on the top shelf and my eyes just locked with it. And I was like, there's no way. Like, I, I don't see anything else besides those shoes on the top row. So I definitely got these for more like $14. But honestly, so worth it for these. Look how cute these are. It's very hot where I live, but honestly, it's okay because we're gonna take trips to the snow. I might even move back to the snow because to be honest, I miss it, but these are so cute. I cannot wear, wait to rock these in the cold weather. Like I'm going to be wearing these all the time. I cannot wait. <laughs> and the next thing that I got was this really cute corset. I just thought it was super adorable. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna style it yet. If I'm gonna wear it like over something or under something or just wear it in the house, but super adorable. I literally picked up like three or four 90s that all look similar to this, but they're, I just die when I see these kind of 90s. So the brand is Adore Me, but look at look at how adorable it is. Like I love the lace in the front, of course that little stringy action going on, and look at the ruffles at the end. This is the other one that I bought that's super similar, but like you can tell the difference to be honest. Like this one obviously is like all lace. Yes, it still has like similar ruffles at the bottom, but look at the back. Like there's a cute bow and like a little tail back there. I'm obsessed with that. I love the ruffles around the boobs as well and the bow. I believe this is, yeah, this is Victoria's Secret, the lacy. I think this one was more like $8. I think this is the last one that looks like this. There might be one more in there, to be honest, but when I bought this one, I thought it was super cute, but when I got it home, it was too small for me, so I'm most likely gonna put this one in my Depop shop. I just think it's so adorable. Look at that lace detail. Look at that, oh, I was so bummed when this didn't fit me, but 
somebody else will get to enjoy it. <laughs> I've never found one quite like this, so I'm super excited about this one. The boobs fit absolutely great, and it has like these little adorable polka dots inside, and it's on top of lace. Like, how cute can it get? Like, it just gives me like 50s vibes for some reason. I don't really know what it is, but I just think it's so adorable and just so me, so <laughs> My dog is just sitting here enjoying the show. Like, yes. <laughs> little accessory honestly when I put this on it reminded me of when they were putting like those birds like those bird dresses on white chicks I'm gonna put a picture here if you guys don't know what I'm talking about but like that is exactly what it is like that's exactly the vibe it gives me and I'm literally here for it like look how cute that is oh my god I love fashion <laughs> I ended up getting these really cute Ann Taylor shoes. I realized that Ann Taylor is like my girl because honestly, I always love her shoes, her clothes. I always end up with them. I don't normally aim for silver very often, so when I do find some I like, I end up getting them because I'll be like wearing a cute dress and then I'm like, I don't have any shoes to match. So I ended up getting me these two vintage coin purses at the same location, which was really cool. This one had its handle with it, but I didn't really like it, so I took it off. I'll probably replace it with a different one, but I love the silk on the inside. It cost me $4.49 for this one, and I believe the other one only cost me like one or two dollars. The next nightwear piece that I have is this absolutely adorable one. Ugh, screaming inside when I saw this. Like, you guys know how much I love pink, so seeing this, I was just like, oh my goodness. I don't even want to ruin it, but I'm gonna have to wear my cute stuff, huh? <laughs> but I just love the cute little ruffle details, and I love the lace especially, and the pink. All of my favorite things wrapped up in one. Next thing I ended up with is this really cute lavender purse. I just thought this was so unique. I don't, it's really rare that I find like pastel shaped purses like this, especially ones with a cute key and lock on them that are heart shaped. So I just thought that was a cute addition. I was so excited about these. Look how gorgeous these are. Like these only cost me like eight dollars too, but I'm just obsessed with that like diamond look, especially on gold shoes. And these are Antonio Milani, so everything about these shoes is just amazing. I got this really cute nightie. I've been finding pink nighties like crazy, which is honestly amazing. Ugh, look how gorgeous this is. I love how it's kind of like a see-through mesh, and it kind of like has these slits on the side and like these shapes in it. I'm just really in love with that, and of course this shade of pink is everything for me. I found this nightie. Honestly, I don't really know what color to call this because it's pink, but it's like darker pink, but it's not as dark as magenta. So I guess you can kind of call it kind of a dusty rose color, but I just think it's so adorable. When I saw this, I was like, wow, I don't even know what that is, but it's beautiful. I love this color. I love the bow on the back. Look how cute that is. So oh, I'm loving life right now. Like, look at these thrifts though. <laughs> like. This is so cute. Another color that I didn't really realize that I love is ruby. I don't have a lot of ruby in my closet, but anytime I see it, I'm like, wow, that's beautiful. Like this color is so cute. I'm not fond of like Barney purple, but this is like more of a reddish purple color. So it kind of gives you like a ruby shade, but I love the ruffles. As you guys can see, that's like a reoccurring pattern on my clothes, usually like ruffles or floral patterns or lace patterns, lots and lots of bows and pink. Ugh. So cute. I ended up with this really cute schoolgirl type skirt. I thought this was super adorable. Honestly, it's hard for me to find like gossip girl looking skirts, but I ended up finding this one. I'm super in love with it. I don't really like uh, checker, like big checker, but I love like little tiny gingham like this, and I love tan. I don't like black, so this was perfect for me. Honestly, every time I found a gingham, gingham skirt, it was always black and white, and it was never like this really pretty light shade, so I was really excited to find this, and I feel like the gold buttons really make it look rich, so I'm in love with this. I have this really cute ruffly lace skirt. Kind of gives me cottagecore vibes a little bit. It's a little bit long on me. Like, when I got it home, it's a little longer than I wanted it to be, but honestly, it's still really cute. The thing I got this month is this really long slip dress. Honestly, I don't have very many that are this long but i just thought this one was so cute i love the details i love details okay like that's you're gonna hear me say that all the time but i just love when there's so much detail like if it was just a solid silk with like no details like this i probably would leave it behind another pair of shoes these just give me like a really romantic feel to them i think it's just because of like that really soft velvety shade they just seem so romantic i love them so much and i'm so happy when i find cute shoes that are perfectly my size 
oh, it just means everything to me. So the brand is Eva Mendez, New York and Company. The next thing that I have here is this really cute fringy purse. I love when there's fringe to stuff. It's just so fun and funky and just wild. I love wild stuff, I guess. I ended up getting this really cute nightwear piece. Like I said, I don't have many that are long like this. So when I found some, I got really excited about it. Look how cute this is. Again, details, people. I'm obsessed. I love how it kind of like drapes along the sides like that. And of course, that beautiful lace detail down the middle and then at the bottom we have beautiful light meshy ruffles like this is just oh everything <laughs> Next, another pair of shoes. These ones are from Nordstrom, that's what it says underneath, but I think they were just so fun and adorable. Like I told you guys earlier, I'm just obsessed with pastels lately, so every time I find them, I'm like, oh my god, that's so adorable. So this has like three shades of different pastels in them, and I just think they're so cute. Honestly, this one I was skeptical at first to get because... Savers, like I said, is a little bit on the pricier side. I'm used to like spending really inexpensive prices at Goodwill, especially where I was living before. And this one was 20, so I was like, mm, for the Goodwill, I don't really know. Or for Savers, I don't really know. But to my surprise, when I got to the register, it was only half off. So I was like, yes, win, 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 all the way. It's really long, so you guys are not gonna be able to see it in the whole frame right now. But it's like a really long, creamy shade gown, and I love the bottom because it ruffles really beautifully and it just falls nicely. Honestly, I need to wear heels with this in order for it to not, for me to not step on it, but it's absolutely adorable. Look at that lace detail. Just looks so rich in old Hollywood. It's just a little simple dress, you know, just for day to day. Just want to take a walk or something like that. Something really simple, but I think it's really cute. I love it so much. I love this pastel like lavender shade. This one looks like it was originally from H&M. Next, I picked up this really adorable purse. I wasn't sure how I was feeling about the dark leather here, but just look how cute it is. It's literally a basket that's a purse, so I was like, I can't leave that behind. Yeah, I was really obsessed with this. If it's a basket, I'm most likely going to get it. <laughs> this one I actually picked up from the Salvation Army, which I don't actually shop there often at all because I feel like they never really have anything that I like but when I first moved here I decided to give the area a chance and I ended up finding this one and it only cost me like two or three dollars so the prices are a lot better over there but I just can't seem to find anything that I like love love this one was originally from forever 21 boutique but I do love that paisley detail here it just kind of gives me like Gatsby vibes in a way I love how the it's almost like a champagne color too too guys this dress Look at these poofy sleeves. Like, there's so many things about this dress that I'm obsessed with. Obviously, it's pink, poofy sleeves. Look at this big floral pattern that's throughout. Like, this is so cute. And the bottom, like, it ruffles up. Look how cute that is. I was obsessed with this. I was like, whether or not this fits, I'm getting it. But when I got it home, it fits. So it was perfect. It's originally from Asus. So, ah, uh, I'm obsessed. Look at how cute that is. I know I'm obsessed with everything that I bought, but that's the point. If you're not obsessed with it, don't buy it, right? This dress was heavily gorgeous. Look how cute it is. The brand is Sue Wong, and that's the same brand of the brown dress that I wore on my birthday. If I have a video, I will post it in the corner right here, but I'm obsessed with her work and her designs. They're just so amazing. She always puts this beautiful sequin throughout, and I'm always so excited when I find her work at the Goodwill because her dresses are so expensive, and when I go to the Goodwill, I find them for like six or ten bucks so it, it's literally heaven when I find her stuff in the bottom it's like this gray color but oh I love it <laughs> what's actually funny is I have the long version of this as well except it's a little bit more pink this one is more of a champagne color and as you can see it is shorter but I just think this is so adorable princess core all the way look at those details I'm oh I'm always so excited when I find stuff like this because you know, stuff like this can be expensive, but when you find them at the Goodwill, usually they're a good price, but lately they've been going up. Like, you know, they're like three or four times as much as they were when I was shopping in my old area, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But if it goes too pricey, then I might as well buy stuff new, right? <laughs> but yeah, this one ended up being $12, but you know, I can I can make that sacrifice if they're sequins, so. <laughs> I got this one home. I'm not quite sure how I'm feeling about it. I don't know if I really like this mesh up here that much, but I guess my thinking was that when I bought it, I was gonna bring it home and then like in the middle cinch the waist with like a pink or cream belt. And I thought it would look a lot cuter. So I might still try that. It is a little bit big on me, but I just love that detail. Like look at those really cute, tiny pink roses. I just think it's everything, especially layered on top of this creamy shade with like the lace on in between. So I understand why I bought it, but again, it was a little bit big. Next thing I have here are these really adorable chunky shoes. If they're sandals, if they're not chunky, I'm most likely not buying them. I do not like flats. I literally hate flats. 
The only flat shoes that I like are like ballerina shoes, but if they're not like ballerina or platforms, I'm most likely not buying them. But yeah, I thought these were super cute. I like the basket with the goals, but my favorite part, of course, is the big chunks. I actually found these twice at the Goodwill. I should have bought them both times because I just think they're so cute and they look like kind of beachy. So I ended up picking these up. I believe the brand is Shoe Republica. Super cute. I'm not really sure if I want to keep these anymore. I bought these a couple of weeks ago, but I don't know if they're exactly my style, but they are Chinese laundry, which is pretty cool. I ended up spending only $5 for these, and they're perfectly my size. And I loved the nude color. That's what got me about them, because I feel like I don't have anything that matches all my outfits. But if they're nude, I feel like they'll match more. But I don't know. They might be a little bit too modern for me, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not. I ended up picking up this cute little cottagecore-ish dress here. I think it's super adorable. It's kind of like a creamy beige color. But of course, what do I love about this? details. I love all the cute little floral pattern details right there and then of course it's all the way on here too and I love the ruffleness of the straps. I just think that's super adorable. I think the original brand is Forever 21. I got this dress right here though. I <laughs> literally die. Like this dress makes me feel like I belong in a diner and drinking a milkshake and a burger and that's exactly what I did when I bought this dress. I went to hang out with my dad and I wore this dress and we got ice cream. Like that's how I felt and this is just look how cute it is and I especially love the back detail. You guys can't really see it well because I didn't button it up, but it's literally buttons going down the back, like just for this part, and then it opens right there. Like, oh my god, look at that detail! And look at the ruffles in the front, and there's also like these little micro polka dots in it that are also pink. Oh, I love this dress so much. Honestly, <laughs> I can't really tell you what this is exactly because I don't know, but I think it's just a shirt. So I don't know if it's a shirt or like a slip, like nightwear type of piece, but either way, I thought it was adorable. I like the V shape in the front, and I thought I could pair it cute, like over top of like a ruffly skirt, so it looked like I'm layering a lot. And I just love how it's like in this pink lace shade. It looked really adorable on as well. It only cost me like two or three dollars. So this gave me such baby doll vibes. Look how cute this is. I actually didn't thrift this. I got it from, well, technically it was still a thrift store, but I got it from like one of those more like upscale thrift stores, like the thrift stores that kind of buy from other stores and then like hike up the prices almost like freestyle or like Plato's closet or that kind of thing so I just thought it was super adorable it still was a really good price I think it ended up only being like seven dollars it was half off so still getting sales even though I'm in the higher price price places but honestly savers is catching up anyway but I love how there's like this massive bow kind of thing right here and it like halters around the top I love the ruffles at the bottom and of course that lacy detail look at that Oh, I love how it's layered like that. That's so gorgeous. So, I thrifted it was this really cute burgundy purse. Honestly, I really just liked the color of it and it just had like this small look to it. I just love those like small little dainty bags like this. So I ended up picking it up. It ended up being $7. I really don't have that much burgundy in my closet, but I do love kind of like a burgundy ruby shade. So honestly, look what it matches with. These shoes. I went on vacation and found these adorable coat shoes for only $8 and they match the purse so freaking well so I'm just obsessed with that look at these shoes you know I'm obsessed with those bows right there uh, I know I shop so much but I enjoy it so much it's like my passion I love fashion look how cute this is Whoa, it's falling off the hanger but look how cute it is look at those sequins everyone and like I said I bought those silver shoes so that would be perfect with something like this because gold would not work but look at the back, all those strings. Oh, so adorable. You guys, oh my God, was I in love with this one. I actually found this at an antique store, which honestly, I don't think I've ever found clothes at an antique store and actually bought it. But this right here, oh, I just about died. It ended up costing me like 12, $13, something really inexpensive like that. But look at the patchwork, you guys. Oh my goodness, and look at this like, stringing like corsetting like oh my god like I love this I've never seen a dress like this before and I'm just absolutely in love with this <laughs> and these heels are also Antonio Milani I just thought they're so adorable like I said before I love when there's like huge diamonds like right here in the front of the shoe I just love that like bling when I'm walking and you just see me coming in the room so I'm getting this really cute nightwear slip piece I don't have anything like this peachy tan color so I really thought the color was super adorable especially since it only cost me like two or three dollars Guys, this might just be like one of my favorite things in this entire haul. Like I went there looking for a two-piece suit. I've been looking for a two-piece suit for so long and then to be blessed with this one. 
I was just like about to die. Like, look at this detail. Like, oh my God. So this is a three piece and it only cost me $5.49. Like, yes, this has that old money vibe. Like, look how cute this is. Old money, old Hollywood. Lace, pink, pearls. What is happening, right? Like, oh my God, I love that so much. I literally just like melted. I was like, my life is complete. Let me quit while I'm ahead. Let's leave and go home right now. Cause, oh my God, I was so in love with this. Like, this is a shirt that goes underneath. So honestly, the shirt on the inside is cute too. Like it has like, it's like this turtleneck that's like lace detail. Like look how cute that is. Oh, I'm obsessed. And I paired it with my really cute hangers so it could look nice in my room. Oh my God, I'm like never ever, this is never leaving my side. <laughs> Piece that I thrifted is completely out of my color zone, but look, hold on, mom's calling me. This dress right here is completely out of my color zone, but look how impeccable this looks. This is remarkable. Look at the bottom. Look at that, oh my gosh, it's like meshy. This detail right here, look at the back. It like flares out like a mermaid. It's just absolutely incredible. And the fact that this was only $10, there was no way in heck that I was leaving that behind. So I, so I bought this with a quickness. <laughs> and the next thing that I got is this really cute cheetah print dress. It's just really cute. I know from the camera it looks a little crazy and wonky, but if you look really closely, it's like this really pretty cheetah print. And like in the other direction, it's kind of like this gold fluorescence. It's honestly amazing on, so adorable. I thought this was so cute, especially since like all of my cheetah dresses kind of got too big for me. So I had to get rid of them or sell them. So I was really excited to find one that actually fit me again. I actually found this the other day, but when I got it home, it was too small in the boob department. So I was really sad about that. So this is most likely going to be up in my shops. Stay tuned for all of my shops. If you see anything that you like, it might be in there. Then I ended up picking up this super adorable green dress. Honestly, it's so hard for me to find this like, it's hard for me to hold it right now. It's hard for me to find this really pretty pastel green color. So when I find it, I'm super excited about it. It kind of gives me like free people vibes. I have like a couple of free people bras that look like this top part right here. So it really gives me those vibes right now. And I love the layers that's on it. It goes all the way to my ankles. I just think it's such an adorable piece. So when I bought this, I wasn't quite sure what it was because it's kind of like mesh, but I feel like it's supposed to be a dress and you're supposed to kind of wear like a slip under it. Either way, I thought it was super adorable. It kind of gives me like, I don't know, old Victorian vibes in this spot right here. I don't know what it is about it. Probably because the fact that it goes like all the way up to your neck and kind of does like this kind of a thing right here. And then it has like these ruffles on the sleeves here. The brand is BCBG. I was really excited because it's only cost me like $2 because they were having like a sale on that color for the day. So I was really excited to pick this up. I can't wait this long again to show you guys thrifts because look how much stuff I have right now. Like it's insane, right? But this one is so cute. I actually just wore this in Vegas. This was such a cozy dress and I got so many compliments on it. Oh my God, it was so adorable. It's like this really pretty like turquoise like sky blue shade and it just has like all these adorable ruffles. I just think it's so cute and it has this tie on the side. But again, like I don't really have much blue in my closet so I felt like I needed to kind of pop in a little bit of color here and there besides pink and white. My sister literally was like, all you own is pink and white. I'm like, duh. But I throw in some purple sometime. I throw in some blue, I throw in some green. So, you know, I mix it up sometimes. But yeah, I just thought this was super cute. It's just sometimes I can't find, you know, dresses in these colors that I adore. So, but I always find dresses I adore in pink and white. But this is super pretty, so I'm definitely keeping this. Over here, just, this is a workout right now. But I was a little bit skeptical about this because of the black edging. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this exactly. It didn't cost me too much to buy, but I do love the pink silkiness of it. But like I said, the black, I just feel like it should be like kind of like a cream color or like a white, almost like the trim around my shirt right now. But this one, I'm not really sure if it's quite my style, so I'll probably end up selling this one. I'm not usually a huge fan of like the more tighter fitting skirts like this, but look how cute this is. This just gives me like boutoir, kind of like noir, kind of old Hollywood vibes a little bit. I just love how this looks. It almost reminds me of like curtains. I don't know what it is. It just has that old feel to it even though it is a tighter fitting skirt. I do like more my stuff more flowy but this one was too adorable to leave behind and it's pink and I just love those little strings that kind of like reach up the the middle there and the booty there so keeping. <laughs> Next thing I picked up is this a super adorable skirt. Normally I don't buy skirts this long but look how amazing this looks. It just gives me like all of my aesthetics all wrapped into one. Oh, it's just so cute. 
I just can't believe how cute this is and the, the detail and like the quality of the skirt is so good and so rich it doesn't look cheap at all I love that and it gives me like Victorian vibes too there's so many things I can do with this skirt it's gonna be insane especially layering like layering a really cute corset and top with this is going to be everything so, so it's literally so out of the ordinary right now because like I said it's literally so hot right here right now but I like traveling to different places and like I said I might miss the snow enough to go back to it I'm not sure but I just think this is so cute it gives me gossip girl vibes school girl vibes it's this really pretty cream and pink color I really never find anything that looks like this like when it's this kind of pattern it's always black and white or like super dark shades I never find any winter colors that are like or winter clothes that are really like light shades like this so when I do I'm copying them especially if they're pink I just picked this one up a few days ago I just thought it was too 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 adorable I love pink like I said and look the bottom is like this really pretty dusty pink shade and then it has like this overlay something about it just gives me like ballerina princess core vibes so I had to pick it up Oh, I can literally do so much with this. I cannot wait. Then I ended up picking up this really cute undergarment. I forgot exactly how, what you call these things, but literally you like wear them and then you like attach them to your stockings underneath. I think it's like, I forgot what it's called. I don't think it's a garter. I forgot. Is it a garter? I don't know. <laughs> I know what to do with it. I just don't know what it's called right now, okay? But I just love the shade of this. It looks like it's vintage because it has like this really pretty, almost like peachy pink tone i'm just really in love with this color and i really wish i could find more things this color i just feel like it's super me oh my god look how cute that shade is on my shade that's so cute right <laughs> and then i got it's a super adorable skirt honestly i am not a fan of denim skirts but i love them when they look like this when they have these really cute ruffles i've been literally looking for one of these at the thrift store for so long because i'm just so obsessed with this look and i really wish it was like a lighter shade of jean and the skirt is a little bit too big on me but i'm still gonna keep it because i just think it's too cute to leave it then i ended up picking up this super cute dress again it's pink i know but i just loved the sleeves how can i kind of poof right here and there's kind of like this ruffle going around the edges here the only thing that I'm kind of iffy about is the way that this looks right here but I ended up getting it anyway because I just thought it was too cute and it was a really good price so I'm still debating on if I'm going to keep it or not but I do love this shade so it originally came from H&M and I just think it's so cute I just think that I'll probably try to pair it with like a corset in the middle and see if I can spice it up maybe wear it off the shoulder and just see how it looks I have this problem of buying cute bras that I don't wear so I'll just go there and be like oh my god that bra is so cute and then I'm buying like three four bras and then I get home and don't wear them ever but this one is super cute I probably will end up wearing this one because it's kind of like this pink velvet with lace and there's no underwire so it looks like it's gonna be super comfortable a funny story about this dress is I actually found this at the Goodwill and then I didn't get it one day after like debating it for a bit then when I went back, it was still there because I was like, I was thinking about this dress. Like when I left it behind, I was thinking about it all day. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I kind of hid it before I left. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but I did. I hid it and then like a part of me, I guess, wanted it if I was hiding it, right? So I hid it and then when I came back, it was in the exact same spot. So I was like, it's meant for me. It was meant for me. So I got it. I just think it's so cute. It gives me that 50s designer vibe, like skater girl. I just think it's so cute, like a little skater dress. I just think it's adorable. Like I said, it just like screams 50s to me for some reason. I don't know what it is about it, but I just, I love it so much. And I don't know why I have the audacity to leave it behind in the first place. The other day at Savers, I picked up this beauty. It's like this cheetah print, but it's pink cheetah print. So how could I not get it? You know, I love cheetah, I love pink. Putting them together and you know, you got the best of both worlds. And then just a couple days ago, I picked up this beauty. It only cost me $3. I love this so much. Something about it is just so romantic and like Victorian, French vibes. I just think it's so cute. I love when the pattern, when the fabric is kind of really dainty like this. It's 100% silk and I just love that dainty silk feeling and that dainty lace feeling. And there's pink in there as well, so it's perfect. I don't think I showed a swimsuit this entire time. I did pick up this swimsuit. It kind of gave me like early 2000s vibes. Something about it is just too cute. Cute. I just I love it so much. It just looks like you know like California girl vibes, which is what I am. So it just is perfect, right? I've countless times I don't like black, but look how cute this little coin purse is. 
If it's a coin purse and it looks like this, I'm most definitely not going to leave it behind. Even though it is black, you know, there's some black stuff in my clothes and I have like a couple of black dresses that I could pair this with, so I love it. I actually bought three this day and this Goodwill was really hitting with these amazing coin purses. The one that I found at that same location is this really cute, adorable silver one, which I don't think I have any of that silver except this one and another one I'm going to show you in a second but I just thought it was so cute it looks like a seashell and it just gives me that 1920s vibes which I'm obsessed with so yes I had to get this last little accessory of this thrift haul that you're going to see is this other silver coin purse that I picked up I just thought it was super adorable look at those little diamonds throughout I just think it's so cute and it just shines beautifully in the sunlight and I just love how it opens it's just too cute and I love how I love when there's silkiness inside like that's just everything another dress that I picked up just the other day it was this really cute polka dot dress I haven't tried this one on yet but it's super cute and it stretches um, more than this it looks small right now because I tied this super tight but it's really cute and I love the ruffles of course and underneath is that beautiful pink satin that I'm obsessed with again this kind of something about this just gave me just old time vibes more like Lolita like 50s vibes kind of Thing. I just think it's so cute, such a baby doll dress, which literally is all that I have in my closet. And a couple weeks ago, I picked up these really cute guest shoes. They're like this pretty tan, like caramel color shade. I just think it's so cute because, like I said, I don't have many shoes that match everything. And this was kind of like another one of those kind of nude shades that I feel like I could pair with a lot of casual things. So you guys are ready for the final dress in this haul. Not the final item, but the final dress slash clothing item that I have. This amazing dress! I literally just did this last week. I was so excited to freaking buy this. Look how cute it is. I know I showed you guys one of these earlier that was like shorter, super similar, but this right here, I love like the sideways ruffle that's happening here. It honestly looks like such an expensive gown, but I only spent $7 for this dress. So I was just so in love. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God. Everything about this is me. Like the nice, big, detail ruffles with the nice beautiful sparkles i don't know if you guys can see those sparkles but it's literally sparkling you know how gorgeous this is going to be in the moonlight amazing right and i have such cute jewelry pieces it's gonna look so amazing with this so oh my god i'm so excited to style this and i just bought some shoes that match perfectly and i found them at the same location these shoes you guys cannot tell me that these shoes do not match perfectly like this is everything they're both sparkling so beautifully i cannot wait to pair these with everything i know i told you guys i didn't like flats but i did say that i like the ballerina type looking shoes and these are just so cute they're showing up a little bit lighter in the camera but they're kind of like a pinky champagne tone but they're so cute they remind me of like disneyland and like Minnie mouse and i can't wait to pair it with all the cute little lacy socks that i have i'm just gonna be looking so cute i'm so excited for a little bit of jewelry i don't think i showed you guys jewelry this whole time but i did pick up this really cute necklace i think it only cost me three or four dollars they didn't even have this behind the showcase but they like all the like okay looking jewelry was in the showcase but all the cute stuff was outside the showcase so somebody doesn't know what they're doing in there then I ended up picking up this really cute watch honestly I wear this watch every single day now I just love this so much when I saw this I was like oh my god it's like gold it has little pearls little diamonds in it and it's like the face of it is kind of like this fluorescent pearl color it's just absolutely perfect and everything i desire in one watch i love it i've been looking for my own watch that just speaks me for so long i just feel like watches are always so masculine and this one is just perfectly dainty and girly and i'm obsessed <laughs> my dog is literally so tired like look at him he's so tired by the end of this like he was like so excited to like watch me and now he's like i'm going to bed <laughs> I think this is the last jewelry piece that i have here and then i'll show you a couple of home decor pieces and then we'll be all wrapped up here so i ended up picking up this super adorable gold necklace i didn't actually find this at a thrift store i found this at an antique shop i only spent around like 12 or 13 dollars for this but honestly yeah it's pricier than what i normally spend at the thrift store but look how cute it is like that is everything you know how cute it's gonna look with some of my dresses that i thrifted oh a few home decor pieces i picked up this really cute like vintage looking plate here i just thought it was so cute they only had one so i thought i could use it as like a serving platter when i'm making cookies or cupcakes or just something super cute like that i ended up finding this super cute perfume bottle it just reminds me of like sea glass 
glass, but it's pink sea glass. Look how adorable that is. It only cost me like $1.50. It's so cute. I just have it sitting here modeling on my little slide table right here. That's with perfume bottles. I'm gonna sell everything I know, but look how cute this one is. Like, does this not, my dog's hair is not everything, but does this not scream just like old Victorian vintage vibes right here? Like, this is so rich looking and it's heavy. And just look how cute that is. You just, oh my God, that's so, it's all stuck in my hair. But like, I'm already cleaning it and everything like that. It does smell like someone else's perfume, but I'm gonna clean it out and make it look so cute. It's so rich looking. I only spent $5 for this. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Got this cute little unicorn. Look how adorable his wings are. Like that's so cute and he looks so happy. Look at that face. I'm just obsessed with this. I know I'm crazy, but it's so enchanting. I'm obsessed with getting little old Victorian pillows from there. I have one that's heart shaped that I'm in love with and then I ended up finding these two, which another one that's heart shaped and this one here. And I have some back in California as well. I believe this is the last and final thing for you guys. You guys. When I saw this, I was just about to melt. I was like, what is that up there? I thought it was a dollhouse, but I knew it was basket material. So I was like, is that literally a dollhouse basket? Like, what am I, like, what is happening right now? So right now, I'm just storing, like, some of my corsets in here. But I might end up making it into a laundry basket. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It only cost me $7. This is, like, the, one of the cutest things that I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen anything like this. I'm just obsessed. And look at the little curtains in the windows. That is so cute! <laughs> so that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell notification to be notified when I post a video. And I will see you in my next one. I have so much more to come. Bye!